Organizing we curb check and our commie compatriots with an impeachment inquiry that yielded nothing more than 13 million in donations to the Donald in a single fucking day. Fancy Nancy Pelosi now claims the NRA were, quote, a foreign asset in the 2016 election, eliciting in the process the loudest, most sustained, oh, come the fuck on in human history. Mind you, this is a mimeographed narrative, a square peg they've been hammering into a round hole for going on a couple fucking years. Right. Russia's undermining our elections. They did it. It's not, not even a question. And to have a president say to the, if he did, to the uh, director of the FBI or the DNI, the director of national intelligence, or the NRA person that, um, uh, that, that uh, they should not go forward, uh, is, it raises questions that need to be answered in a facts and law way and not uh, hearsay. Conflating two personal trips of NRA's upper management with official meetings to paint a portrait more to their political liking. Look, I have more issues than Highlights Magazine with the motherfucking NRA. These Judas goats gave us gun control. The NFA is theirs and FDR's brilliantine brainchild. They bent to the shitted knee to the prohees in the 20s. Fuck, they were the fucking prohees. One of the unspoken secrets of American history is that even as the media and libertarians wail and gnash their teeth about drug and alcohol legalization in the present, in truth, the only extant object from prohibition that is all but unaltered in the present is national goddamn gun control. Drugs and guns were outlawed arm in arm in the 30s, but only one of them has an army of noxious nut hammocks calling for a nationwide rollback of the butt fucking law. Guess which? While the initial American gun control laws were artifacts of racism, the ones instituted in the Virginia colony predating the Declaration of Independence by over 20 years, and were enacted to keep African slaves unarmed, which by the by is one of the reasons the founders were reminded to fucking enshrine the right to bear arms in the Constitution to begin with, and the so-called Black Codes of the Civil War era South forbade black people from buying any firearms whatsoever, truly national gun control was passed by the Prohibition era busybodies and bullshitters in the early 30s to address the rash of bootlegger murders in gangland Chicago, where it still stands, by the way, eight decades later, effectively fucking untouched. As if Elliot Ness and Al Capone are still playing rock'em sock'em robots outside Wrigley Field on the fucking daily, but the NRA? A foreign asset? Let me iron this rankled ass shit shirt out for a fucking beat and see if I can decipher your socialist speak. Foreign asset? The NRA, a century-old American organization funded entirely by its membership that is quite literally the only reason you're still able to push the prohibition of firearms in 2019. Not a foreign asset? China, who's donated the DNC and Hillary Clinton millions of foreign assets since Al Gore and the Clintons coughed up our nuclear secrets to them for a song in 1996, who regularly hacks everything from the FBI to Fortune 500 companies to test for weaknesses, commits hourly IP theft at a cost of fucking billions, and remains the Vegas odds-on favorite to be tacitly fucking funding Antifa. Just making sure I've carved through the subtext here. And that's without digging into the asinine accusations themselves. Now, as always, it's been about innuendo over evidence. Folks, I've been saying it for days now, but the damage the DNC has done to itself this past week cannot be undone. The public has the memory of a concussed fucking fruit fly for a fact. They'll forget porn star payoffs that appropriately yielded precisely dick. They'll forget Manafort and McCabe and McCain's Pissgate dossier. They'll forget 31 flavors of medium rare fucking nothing burger. But if history is any guide, they will not forget pursuing articles of impeachment in five years, let alone one. The DNC gave a Dutch oven to the entire country, and now all of us must endure the shit stink. There ain't an adult undergarment 
and absorbent enough to contain the pants-shitting stupidity that's about to transpire. Once again, I confess deep and abiding ambivalence in the National Rifle Association. Full disclosure, I'm actually a member, but not the happiest one on the roll call. They're all but effusive in upending the Constitution with red flag fuckery. Although Wayne LaPierre, to his credit, has managed to get T. Rump to back off a bit more recently. Yet they're all aboard with national gun registries, registration being the first brick on the path to confiscation notwithstanding. They're a flawed custodian of our liberties at best, and at worst, willfully complicit in cucking the Constitution. But we're already back on Boris and Natasha running the country 11 minutes after alleging Trump conspired with the Ukraine? Russia's avowed fucking opposite? Russian accusations are like Russian dolls. Every time you carve one in half, there's 50 more flavors of fucking nonsense inside. Nothing a fire by fucking electorate can't cure. I'm Razor Fist. God fucking speed. And now it is a great pleasure to be with you here in New York, in Detroit, uh, for the NAAC's 110th anniversary. And to Mayor McDuggan. And in our new house, uh, house, the House Congressional Black Caucus, we too must continue to stand firm for for fairness, for genuine, genuine equality. Once we, once we restore the vote, once we break the grasp, the gas, the grasp, 